Hello there traders. Uh, for today's uh, analysis, I decided to cover different currency pairs. I'll also cover the gold. And I think that um, you'll like it. So I will start with the British pound versus US dollar. We got a pretty a big spike on the news. Again, to remind you, we got um, we have an uh, unemployment rate basically increased to 6.1% versus 5.8% and non farm employment change in the US. Uh, um, Actual was 266,000 uh, versus the 990,000 uh, uh, change. So, what I will uh, do now is I will show you the different chart, uh, something that maybe you are not familiar with, and um, it is called a market profile. And this is the uh, InstaForex uh, platform and uh, I installed this market profile chart here. So I can show you basically that uh, the mean of the week, mean where the basically where we've got most trading uh, area for this week is set around 1.3907 and we also got at 1.3886. So I think that we got, we literally, uh, what, what we got so far is we got a spike and we rejected that spike fully. So I think that um, a bearish stance will be appropriate for the end of the day. So playing for intraday, some selling opportunities with putting the stop maybe above this spike high. And I try to play for a 20 to 50, 60 pips profit will be appropriate for this, um, for the British pound versus US dollar for the intraday trade. And if you see the daily frame on the price section chart, you will find out basically that price reached this area of resistance and that we got rejection so far. So, if I go and I can also show the volume, uh, can show you also the volume on the lower frames, like using the 15, 30 minute time frame, just to, there was a big volume spike here, but the next bar is down and also a high volume. So that's a basically a bearish for me as well in terms of the volume analysis. So I will also check the goal for you. And um, it's a basically a similar thing. Uh, if I go to the goal and um, I show you on the futures market, you will find out that the gold got the same, you had a big volume spike. Um, we close off the high a bit, uh, this 30 minute bar, and then the next bar is down and also high volume closing near the low and we taking this pin bar. This is actually potentially just for the trap for the buyers from my perspective after the news. So in terms of the gold chart, if I go here and show you, um, the gold chart on the on the higher frame, so like a four hour time frame. We'll find out, actually it's better to show in the daily time frame right there. So uh, you will see that we basically, the price almost reached this uh, 1845. It reached that area of uh, resistance from the previous price section. And this is like potential, uh, potential climax as well on the gold. And I can see basically the gold can uh, fully absorb this uh, climax upside move uh, and uh, I think that we can back below even previous day, um, below the previous day high and trade below 1817. We'll definitely watch for selling opportunities on the rallies um, and we'd stop above some previous swing highs and, and try to work towards the uh, previous day high, like target 1818 and uh, even this uh, target around 1813 uh, 13 and uh, recent highs at the potential at 1800. So, that will be for this analysis and uh, again uh, some bearish some climaxes all around on the markets you know the pound got a climax on upside and uh, this gold gold climax on upside and seems like we are absorbing this fully which actually can have a pretty bear stance at the end of the day